Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's having a nice weekend and Labor Day holiday. How many football games did you watch yesterday? Did your teams win? Always something exciting. The first full weekend of football season. SEC top to bottom did not look nearly as strong as they usually do. Tennessee, oof. Missouri, oof. South Carolina, oof. My Commodores, oof. But then again, at least the Commodores had the excuse to play in the number three team in the country, the Dogs. I see a bunch of you guys are rolling in. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Wanted to talk about a topic that's kind of near and dear to my my heart is hobbies. Do you have hobbies? And I know it may sound silly, but I've read so many articles and I've heard a couple of TED Talks actually that hit on the topic that the typical person who has hobbies in their life are typically happier people. They're more content in life. They're more grounded. They enjoy life more. They feel like they have more of a little sense of purpose. They're not always working. But what is a hobby? A hobby can be different things to different people. Some of my hobbies include collecting baseball cards, reading, traveling. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Sometimes they almost interfere with what I really need to be doing. Sometimes my work. Don't tell David, though, please. <laughs> but why do you do it? What kind of satisfaction do you derive from it? What's the purpose of having hobbies? Well, it's your interests. It's things that you enjoy outside of your normal day-to-day -day, uh, work. Maybe it may or may not include family members, or it may be something that you do on your own. I know people whose hobby is to learn all they can learn about Disney and going to Disney as often as they can. That's an expensive hobby, but it's still a hobby. All hobbies can be expensive, but all right, not all hobbies. Hobbies can be expensive, or they could cost nothing, just your time. Reading is a fantastic hobby. Collecting seashells or arrowheads, or maybe one of your hobbies is fishing. I think whatever the hobby may be, and you, people can obviously have multiple hobbies, I think it just helps to maybe slow down life a little bit, help you to de-stress because it's something you truly enjoy doing. I think they're so very important. And I don't mean to trivialize them at all. Some hobbies are very important, not just to the people who are doing it, but to those who they may affect. And then other hobbies can be silly, but there's no right or wrong. I just hope that you have them in your life, maybe as a distraction, maybe as something that you, you could turn it into a business. There are people who do knitting for a living, or not for a living, but for a hobby, and they donate what they've created or they sell what they've created. I'm sure there's uh, social media stores, Etsy, Pinterest, uh, eBay, you name it. But I hope you have some hobbies that you enjoy. I'd like to hear what they are. I'm sure some of them are quite unique. But anyway, that, that'll be it for me on the trail. I don't want to forget before I get off of this is to honor what this weekend is about. The type of work that David and I do representing employees who've been injured on the job or individuals who are making claims for Social Security benefits. Well, what did they do before they needed to see us? They worked. And so many advances have been made in laws and protections over the the years, at least in the United States and, and around the world, that it's, it, it is proper, I think, to, to honor what today is really about. So for all of those of you in the workforce and for the work that you do and those who protect those laws, thank you for what you do, and I hope that tomorrow is, is a good Labor Day for everyone. Anyway, that's it for me for today. Hope your team's won this past week. If not, I hope they regroup for next week because it's always a, another game. Guys, have a great rest of your week, and we'll catch you another time on the trail.